Hello there my fellow Holotable heroes and welcome to another Galactic Challenge video. Hopefully you had a productive week and it's looking forward to get your weekend started. But first a brand new challenge is upon us and we have a return of the fleet challenge. Now fleet challenges are usually straightforward unless, unless uh, we have a dodge feat and guess what? There is a dodge feat uh, today. Uh, so definitely a bit of RNG involved in this one just because of the rebel modifiers and everything which we'll get into it. Uh, so you may need a few attempts to get it done. In this video I really want to show you two ways I got it done. One was in my main, main account where I have you know pretty much all the ships uh, relicked up. So it was kind of straightforward. All feats in a single battle pretty easy. And then in the other account where you know my fleets are not that developed, I was also able to get it done in two battles, one with just for the resistance feat, and then the other one for the dodge and offense up. Definitely for the dodges and offense up, uh, the I think easiest way is uh, using Empire and then as well resistance, whatever you've got, mix it up with one of your good fleets, and hopefully you can get max rewards. Okay, let's look at the modifiers first. Now the Lethal modifiers don't really play a huge part in today's challenge. Yeah, we get some breach or an expose of, on us. It's interesting, whenever there's this probe droids modifier, it seems like whatever enemy we are facing, they are simply not getting a whole bunch of buffs. So we are the only ones really affected by this negatively. That is, afterburners, similar thing like probe droids, you know, doesn't do a whole lot. So let's just move on to the resistance modifier. Which in, in its, uh, you know, isolation, it's a pretty good modifier, but today's challenge isn't really about winning the resistance fleet, is it? It's about getting the dodges and offense up. So again, not go going to be uh, that helpful, unlike the uh, rebel modifier. So this is where the RNG element comes in. Uh, there's an RNG element already with Falcon itself, right? 50% chance to assist, call somebody for an assist. And then there is extra chance here when they crit to keep attacking. So that's where the RNG of today's challenge of thing comes from. Because they can, you know, if they're getting assists all the time, they can quickly gun down your ships, especially if they are lower level. So in terms of hits, we have to win while using five resistance ships, win after evading 10 attacks, and finally gain offense up. 20 times so as mentioned in the beginning of the video i will first show you my you know leveled up fleet that can get all the feats done in a single battle so we will be using executrix because uh, it's got an ability here one of the special gives all allies offense up for one turn so if you've got five ships on the field you know you just need to use this ability four times but in most cases i did not have so I was just stalling the battle along as long as i could so this is definitely i think the easiest way for the offense up feat uh, using Executrix and then the dodging will come from TIE Defender and then as well Scythe will summon two additional TIE Fighters they also can get Foresight Poe grants himself Foresight uh, and then obviously the other resistance ships are here just for the uh, feats really they won't really be all that helpful okay uh, let's hop in the battle and let me show you how I was able to get all the feats done in a single uh, battle with this one they go first they do a few hits you may lose a ship or two. There we go. Poe goes down. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, get the four set up. X-Wing is actually, this next wing is quite quite good actually because it's got unresistible days, which is pretty nice. Uh, dispel the buffs there uh, with Scythe. Uh, do an AoE. There we go. Dodging coming in from TIE Fighters. Let's get more foresight uh, until we get our Defender out. Uh, sure, let's go ahead and um, who do we want to heal up? Let's heal up uh, X-Wing actually. Okay, all right, come on, TIE Defender. There we go. And let's go ahead and bring in TIE Defender and um, let, let the dodge fest begin. There we go. Perfect. Okay, let's see what they've got. Okay, they brought in uh, Phantom first. There we go. Lots of dodging. There we go. So that's what we want to use as soon as it's available. Go ahead and use it. At this point, I have four ships available, so that's often up four times. Uh, so we'll definitely have to stall this battle longer a little bit. Again, do another buff dispel here with Scythe. Uh, perfect, let's go ahead and daze Falcon as well, so it's not assisting and stuff. And I'm just kind of going after Phantom first, uh, because, you know, Phantom can do some big damage, and especially once they got the whole Phantom-Ghost combo together, it can be pretty annoying. Here I was debating what reinforcements to bring, I decided to bring in Falcon, but again, I don't want to do the spinning trick. 
because then we'll be counter-attacking, don't want to do the AoE, just doing basics, because remember, we have to stall the battle now long enough to get offense up. There we go. Now, we do have five ships on the field, so that's five offense up five more times again. No damage here, just basic. Take it easy. I'm going after Falcon first, uh, just because um, it will go into stealth again, so it can heal itself up a little bit. And stalling is the name of the game. We got Phantom down, and again, just keep stalling at this point. Just kind of basics. And here comes Ghost as well now. Here we go, offense up again one more time. Now we go, dispel all the buffs. Uh, sure, give me a daze. There we go, just a basic there, got him down. Just a basic over there. Let's go ahead and uh, he uh, heal up as well. Okay, come on. I think I need to open up one more time and then I think I should be good to go. Unfortunately, without feed tracker, anyone's guess. So just do your best to stall this one out as long as you can. There we go. Okay. Uh, short dispel buffs. There we go. Open up one more time. So I think I've got it like now more than enough. Let's go ahead now. Finish off the battle. And there we go. That's how I was able to stall long enough to get offense up, feed done with the Executrix. And then Tide Defender did all the dodging for us. And obviously, we had, you know, all the five resistance ships here on board uh, to knock this out. Now, if you don't have, obviously, all the ships leveled up, this is not from another account. As you can see, most of resistance ships at level one. Uh, so what I was able to pull off is with Malevolence and then Hyena Bomber and as well Tide Bomber. We need Tide Bomber for burning just to slow the enemy down until we get to the ultimate. Anyway, let's hop in the battle and let me show you how I was able to knock this out. There we go. As you can see, my resistance ships, <laughs> level 1, they just keep going down. But at least uh, they took the opening hits, I guess. Hyena Bomber, only one alive, but it's okay, right? We can summon Vulture Droids now. I'm going to start off with an AoE. I resist a shield disruption there. Um, so if you don't resist shield disruption, uh, you just do uh, don't don't do the uh, vulture droids. Just do the sorry the buzz droids. Just do the basic from hyena bomber, and bomber would cleanse itself uh, immediately. So you can shake off the shield disruption if they do stick it on you. Okay, all right. We got a few hits on us. That's fine. Let's go ahead and bring our uh, reinforcement, which is going to be bomber. We apply burning when we reinforce with the bomber, so they can't assist now. Uh, okay, let's go ahead and spread the buzzes finally. There we go. That's okay. Going after Y-Wing first, I guess. Okay. Sure. Okay, there goes my Vulture Droid. That's fine. Let's go ahead and use the special here. Uh, again, calling Hyena Bomber to assist. Go ahead and reapply the burning. There we go. Well, come on, finish it. Finish it. There we go. Y-Wing is down. Hey, we got one ship down. Speeding up the footage here because it's going to take a minute. But at this point, you know, things are relatively under control, I guess. Bringing another level one <laughs> resistance ships. Come on, get, get, get Phantom down. There we go. Died from burning. Uh, we almost got Biggs down as well. All right, let's do another AoE. Bring in another Vulture Droids. More Buzz Droids on the field. Okay, there we go. More Buzzes. Here comes their ultimate. But just with two ships. You know, we should be able to tank here, I think. There we go. Ghost is down. Time that we pull off our ultimate. And now we just have to finish off here. Falcon. And we should be good to go. Lock in that burning again. There we go. That's fine. Ugh, come on. Just delaying the inevitable. Give me an assist. Ugh, dodge. Oh, there we go. And that's how I was able to get it done with Malevolence. Hyena Bomber, Tie Bomber, and whatever resistance ships I had there available. This definitely took, I think, five attempts, so it was definitely one of the challenging things. But if your resistance ships are a little bit better than mine, they should be able to hang around longer than mine. And then this all leaves now as well uh, the Evasion and Offense Up feed. So we'll do the same thing. We'll be relying on Executrix to gain the Offense Up. And as well, uh, Tie Defender for the dodging here. Tie Defender is only gear 12, so not as durable. Um... And then I'm just starting here, obviously, with tanks, just so we can tank long enough the initial hits. Uh, no scythe in this account, so that's why I had to do some sort of mishmash team here. Uh, with Hyena Bomber, <laughs> uh, with Houndstooth, just that, you know, we can tank uh, long enough to win this one. Okay, just basics here. I don't want to taunt yet. Uh, get me a foresight. Okay, here comes the mass assist. 
Uh, well, we'll just do here on AoE. Again, as you can see, the enemy has a very high resistance. They're pretty much resisting everything unless it's resistible. Just going to keep doing basics for now. Oh my god, I got a basic there as well. There goes Hyena Bomber. That's fine. He did his job. He tanked a few hits in the opening sequence. Okay, what I've got for us? Uh, same thing, Phantom again. Okay. All right, let's go ahead and uh, bring in now uh, the Dodge Master TIE Defender. So hopefully we can dodge uh, enough here to get it done. There we go. Okay, nice dodge. Yeah, yeah, good, good, good. There we go. Offens up, starting three times to begin with because I only three ships. So this is also a little bit of an RNG element here. Obviously, how much TIE Defender is dodging and things like that. Uh, so again, you may need a few attempts to get it done as well, unless your Empire Fleet is much better than in this account. Then the next reinforcement, bringing in Bomber, just to again lock in the burning, stop their assists. Okay, there we go, we'll just keep going now. Offense up again, four more times, perfect. Come on, ooh, that was a big hit there from TIE Fighter, got Y-Wing down. We have to slow down slow down now a little bit, right? We, because we, again, we have to stall the battle. Let's go ahead and reapply the burning. Especially just to keep Falcon under control. Uh, no ultimate again. We want to stall this one out as long as we can. I'm going to go ahead and bring in Gauntlet so we can a little bit uh, cleanse, get some protection up. As you can see, Gauntlet as well, low level, uh, not very durable, but still, you know, cleanse is a cleanse. Okay. Okay, keep dodging. That's good. Uh, sure, offense up five more times. Perfect. Uh, I'm just going to speed up the footage here because, you know, we just have to now stall the battle, just kind of doing basics until we get offense up one more time. Okay, here comes an AoE. Uh, okay, uh, let's keep uh, Falcon alive so it can heal itself up, I guess. There we go, offense up again. Okay, basic there. Uh, sure, offense up again. Cleanse, lock in the burning. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and do here basic. Finish off Falcon. And there you go. I was also able here to stall long enough to get uh, offense up feed. Again, Evasion 1 with TIE Defender, not too challenging, but definitely offense up. It's all about stalling long and hard. All right, guys, that's all of what I wanted to share with you in today's video. Hopefully you found it useful and helpful. Just kind of two ways to get it done. If you do have developed fleet, as I've shown you in the first battle, all feeds done in a single attempt, uh, you know, pretty straightforward for me personally. The other one, definitely a lot more challenging if you have a very bad resistance fleet. I was able to pull it off with Malevolence and then as well with kind of a semi, I guess, decent Empire fleet as well. I was able to carry myself to the max crate. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. But until then, have fun, enjoy your life and may the RNG be with you, my friends.